Hello YouTube, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Tag and Rename and how you can use this to make your MP3s not only tagged perfectly but so the file names look good and so you know 100% that your files are named and tagged according and they're not automatically tagged and there's a mic that Windows Media Player or iTunes hopefully did it correctly. This you can actually customize it by using file mask and make the album tag correctly. So we'll start out by this. This is a common um, this is a common, uh, let me go ahead and remove all the tags if possible, which for some reason it's not letting me do that. This is not one step you want to do. I mean, you want to make sure they're not read-only, but, okay. This is common um, on a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of downloads, where you got some of the file, the file name, it's, it's just all screwed up. The first thing I could suggest with this program, if you have internet, would be to do a, a CD lookup. Make sure the artist is right and, and the album. If there's anything else other than these two items there, um, just simplify it. When you got it right, it'll come up with a result. You want to try to find one that has this, hopefully, with the right tracks and the right album. That's crucial there. But this is the, the crucialest step. And that is, obviously we're missing a track here, but uh, you want to start moving. These are basically the way they are on your computer, and this is how it's trying. And if you notice, if this was an automatic, like iTunes, the way these files are named, it would have named them wrong. I mean, this track is actually fading into the background, and it would have named it nobody. So how you do that is you drag and drop. I usually go from top to bottom and drag bottom upwards. So the first one is track four that we know. So here's track four, it'd be mad. Track seven, which is fade. Move it up, just where the blue line. Then track 10. I mean, this is the worst case here, the way I did this. I mean, I just totally screwed these up. Uh, and we got closer, so that one's correct. Miss independent, we'll move that one up. Track six goes here. Track eight. Track 9, which is part. You just want to make sure they're in order. Most of the time they'll be in order already. I just really screwed it up to, and I'm missing a, tra uh, a track on this, as you can see. So we know that track's missing because it's not here, not found. Make sure this is all correct and hit right. What that just did is it downloaded the image and fixed all the, the tags. But our file names are still really messed up. Now, when you first load the program, it puts in a default mask. You have to determine how you want your files to be renamed, and you can do that by the mask editor. I usually choose to, to have my albums named as the artist, which is our variable, then the track number, space, hyphen. You can do this however you want your file names to turn out, and then the title. So basically, in a preview, it'd be the artist, whoever it is, the track number, followed by the title. So you hit add current mask and hit OK. Now when I hit rename, just like that, it fixed the file names based on the tags we just fixed. So another thing I like to do is go into options, and this is a one-time setup, go to playlist. If you notice, I put these parentheses at the end, which I'll get to that later why I did that. But once you got that done, you can hit F7 and hit mask editor, and again, this is another mask to how you want the folder for this one, for the F7 key. I usually choose album and then I put the year in parentheses. Just like that, you can do this however you like. And click OK, and now when I f hit finish, if you notice it fixed the folder the way I like, the way I wanted it. Again, that's F7, and once you got it in the first time, you just hit rename. Now back to that parentheses thing I did in options. Control, Alt, and S will actually create a playlist. And the reason I put the parentheses is so when you're browsing on your computer and you go actually in the folder, it puts it right on the top. So you can just double click that and it loads that album. Just as if you pop the CD in with whatever your favorite player is. I choose one amp. But there it is. So let's go through and do one more. This is UB40. Now this one I started to tag for demonstration purposes in the other video, but it messed up. And the file name's pretty much right. Everything's here, but we're going to go ahead and do a CD database lookup it's quicker. 
And this is how you would do on a normal. There's 13 tracks, 13 tracks. Glance through, make sure they're in the right order. Now you might miss these. It took me a while to you just take your time, go down, go down. These are all right. Click right tags. You rename files, your thing's already there, your mask. So it fixed it, it was already done, but it, it would have fixed it. If any of these were messed up, I'm gonna edit the actual file name of this one, the first one. Okay, so that one was wrong. When you hit rename, it would have fixed it, see? Then you hit your F7. Fixes your folder and then Control Alt Shift S, which would turn around, which I already did this one, and it would create your quick playlist. So this is where if you want to not only fill in the information, but this is also it puts the album in order with a playlist, puts all the information the way you like it, and we'll go view it just in our program. This is how your radio or your uh, software would play it. There's your artwork. It puts it all in. Versus sitting there and typing all this in, you can use variables. One last thing I want to touch on in this program is getting the, the tags from the file name. So let's just say the title is missing or the album artist. Some of this, I just did two, but let's say you downloaded it and the tags weren't there. Let's see if we can actually remove the tag. Select all, remove tags. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Okay, so the tags are incomplete or missing, and it's, it's, it's pink to let us know something's wrong. Okay, what this allows you to do, if you have anything in the file name, it allows you to use masks again in a different way to fill that information in. And how you would do this, it would be based on what you have in your file name. If you have file names that are almost all identical as far as the format goes, you can turn around and take and tell it to go variable artist that we have and you have to type the rest of it like it is that the next variable would be the track number and then the next variable would be the title and what this will do edit select all boom it just filled all that in like that with the click of a button after we got our variable set to read from here and put it in the uh, title and artist and, and even the track number which is down yonder here which was all messed I messed it up purposely but you see that basically this program will not only allow you to fix file names but folders it'll make the playlist it'll put the art in and it'll be guaranteed that you know based on that that step I showed you up here when you get the uh, album from Amazon all you want to do is make sure one you click the right one and two make sure that they're all in order here which is where a lot of automatic taggers mess up if they're in order here and you hit right this fixes the tag almost one to one perfect and then you use your basic mask here let's say you wanted to do it uh, for your for your rename on the files themselves you wanted to rename them where it's the artist then the album then the track number and then let's say you want to do the year in parentheses or you don't want to do it however you do it however you put this variable for rename files when you hit after you do that and you hit rename that is how it's going to put it now it's the artist album track number and year no matter how you do this let's say you, uh, I don't like the way that looks right there you want to put a dash in there once you put that dash in there and hit rename again it'll do whatever you tell it to do you can tell it to do um, using your mask editor artist track number title and year and there it is that's gonna put the year at the end too however you want to do this I personally prefer artist track number and title it just looks a lot cleaner on an album based on when you open the folder it just looks cleaner now whatever you do when you start changing the file name if you are using a playlist to control alt and s after you're done making your changes it's the last thing you want to do to make sure it updates the playlist with these changed uh, file names if you're just uh, changing the, the information in the tag then you don't have to 
I hope you guys like this YouTube video. I've been using this program for a couple years and I just figured I would pass the information along of how I learned how to use the program and like I said, the best thing to do if you're new to the program is to make a copy of, of the album you're trying to mess around with. Try these steps, play around, and then once you get it, I'm telling you, this blows all the auto, auto taggers out the water and it will make your library perfect to a touch. If you like your files to be renamed a certain way, once you set that um, mask, it'll do every single one that way. And with the ability of doing a CD lookup online, it'll download the tag, the art and everything. If you can't find the information, you can use the multi-tagger, hit edit, and then just browse your image by hitting add and browse. You can get them on Google anywhere, or scan the original if you have, and then type it all in manually. That works too. And then after you do that step, you can turn around, hit rename files, and use the same principle. But that concludes my YouTube video, guys. I hope you enjoyed.